Hi, I'm Chris Garlock, and I'm here with Michael Redmond, Nine Don Professional. We're going to take a little bit more of an in-depth look at this historic first-round game in the Google DeepMind Challenge uh, here in Seoul uh, between Yi Sedol and AlphaGo. Uh, Michael, why don't you take it away? Okay, let's just go through the moves. I, I have some things I'd like to say about the game. Okay. Um, so, so far, it's looking like a pretty normal opening, but um, with this move, Lisa Lowe is already playing a very unusual move. I'll have to look this up to see if it's actually a new move or not. Mm -hmm. I've never seen it before mm -hmm. myself. Um, the usual move, of course, is something on the upper side. Right. Um, and it's, so Google plays here, yeah. And it's possible that this was part of his strategy to do something off book. Uh, yeah, I think he was just trying to get off of the data database that Google has um, and do something that was plausible at the same time. Mm -hmm. So white played a Kakari, yeah, and black start, and also the fact that this sort of starts a fight, um, which is Lisa Dole's style. And so he's uh, getting a nice territory on the right side. The question is what happens on the upper side? Naturally white invades. Yes. Um, so now black has these two weak groups, white has this weak group. It's a question of who's going to attack who. No, he didn't push there. He, he, Played there, yeah. And black played here, and then the peep. And white actually played very strongly here to cut black in two. And now black sort of has to handle uh, those stones on the bottom side. Mm -hmm. um, but this is this is really dangerous for black, but it's also uh, Lee Settle's style. So I wasn't really thinking that he was um, doing badly at this mm -hmm. point. Um, uh, after the game, he was saying that he uh, made some mistake in the opening, and uh, so I don't really know what he's talking about. It, this is a fight that I would be uh, a bit worried about if I was playing black, mm -hmm. uh, but I think it's sort of something that Lisa Dole likes to do anyway. So I wasn't expecting him to say that he messed up in the opening. In this yeah, that, I thought that was interesting um, too. So I was sort of surprised. Um, black extended here, white. White has to protect these stones. Mm -hmm. And in this fight, it's okay for white to lose those three stones. Like if black had played something like this, it's highly likely that white lose, would lose those stones. Mm -hmm. um, but that would be okay if white can get a trade with the center stones and some of these black stones here. Um, but this, these four stones are stones that white cannot afford to throw away. So that's the meaning for this move. Okay. Uh, White's playing a very reasonable sequence here um, in a very difficult fight, actually. Um, and this was quite, as you pointed out in our live commentary, this is, mm -hmm. this is quite different from the uh, games uh, played with uh, Fan Hui back in the fall. Well, Fan Hui was um, basically was not playing as well as Lee Seldo. Okay. Um, and so it, I think the AlphaGo was actually having a, less of a challenge. Um, and actually, but on the other hand, AlphaGo was actually much stronger in this sequence. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, it, it's standing up to the challenge, doing very well. The team said at the press conference afterwards that they were, you know, back there in the mm -hmm. control room, mm -hmm. you know, looking, and and that the, that this fight was the overall was pushing pushing it to its limits. To, to its yeah, limit. because yeah, it is a very complicated. It would be a very complicated fight for for professionals. Right. Uh, white jumped uh, out, I think. Yes. Jump right. And at this point, I think white played here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and let's just play these forcing moves too. And this black group is just sort of barely alive. Right. There, there are some forcing moves like the, the honey that came up later in the game. Mm -hmm. And let's, so white pushes. Um, and now AlphaGo counterattacks. Um, very sh very have, sharp move, right? It's a sharp move. Um, it's not really going to work in that it's not going to attack black very much, but it does give white, um, it allows white to put some pressure on black mm. and therefore get some extra moves, as we shall see. Um, black has to fix the shape here. Okay. White extends, and black jumps out. It's a fairly complicated fight. Well, there's all these weak stones all over the place. Like there's this weak group, this weak group. Black is willing to throw away those stones, mm. but there's still some potential for black over there, which makes it complicated for white too. And then there's this weak white group. So there's at least, and of course these stones, which are probably going to be sacrificed, but there's already four weak groups with some potential for more complications here. And so Unfortunately for black, this group is alive. 
But it feels like like Lee is is destroying everything at AlphaGo, and AlphaGo is not. It's not out. really, yeah. It's, 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 Alpha it's, Go is fighting very well. Toe to toe. Yeah, so, much, so it's playing a fighting game um, much more skillfully than I expected because mm -hmm. that was sort of looking like one of its weaknesses. Okay. Yeah. But I wasn't sure because it was uh, having a relatively easy time in the October games. And so now black plays here, white plays here. And. Um, for the time being, these two stones cannot move immediately. There's a bit of Aji there, mm -hmm. some potential for black. Uh, these stones have been extended out into the center, um, and so they're okay for the time being. And so it's still, white doesn't really have time to move out with these stones before saving these stones, because they're not alive yet. So if black gets something like this next to sort of surround these stones, there's gonna, they're going to be very cramped, right. and white will be forced to play a lot of bad moves or inefficient moves to make a life there. So, so white pushes out. Um, now this is sort of consistent to um, what AlphaGo was always doing in an ambiguous position. Mm -hmm. um, when it was playing Fan Hui, it would always play in a move close to its weakest group mm -hmm. to reinforce that weak group, which is um, a good, good style, really. So now black plays here. Um, this captures the two stones here. And at this point, uh, during the live commentary, we feel, you know, Black's got side territory. Uh, some territory there. This ver thickness. And that's going to be territory. It's alive here. Yeah. Um, White has some potential in that corner. Some potential in this corner, mm -hmm. as you showed, you know, mm -hmm. 40 points with one more move. But right. other than that. Other than that, White doesn't have anything yet. It's difficult. So it's, it's looking like Black has some potential at this point. That's what makes it confusing to hear Isidol say he made a mistake in the beginning because. Um, if I had black at this point, I would feel that I had a slight advantage, right? And it would not be a decisive advantage. Um, but you'd feel comfortable. I, I would be a, a bit uneasy about this territory here mm -hmm. but that did get messed up later in the game, uh, and also because of the fact that white does have those extra forcing moves. Um, so I would be a bit worried about something happening there later, because partly because of all these white stones in the line here. Um, also. Um, there's so much uncertainty because that can be a big territory in, in that corner if white plays the first move. If white plays a move here, that is. Um, so this is now so locked that, that, up. So that's a big difference for if white plays compared to if black plays first. And so there's a lot of uncertainty as to how the territories will develop. So mm -hmm. there, there, a big difference just one move will make. Mm. Um, so I wouldn't be feeling com comfortable yet. Okay. But I would feel that maybe I had a slight lead. So white jumps in here. Again, white's handling his weakest group. And also, like if black had played like a move like this next, this would put pressure on the white stones. And um, because of that, white would not be able to invade the side. So the whole side would become black's territory. And so that would be bad for white. So this is sort of a must move. Black plays a Karkari here. This was a very, it's an interesting move. I think it was slack, but. You didn't like yeah. this during the live commentary. I didn't like that, Do you yeah. like it? I still don't now, like you it. You still don't like no. it. Yeah, okay. I think White should have answered once. Would you call it an outright mistake or just simply slow? A slow move. Slow yeah. move. I'm, I'm not sure it's a complete. It's a it's a move that White has to play at some point. I'm, I'm just sort of concerned with the timing. Right, and, and we there's there's a lot of variations you showed during the live commentary. I mean, there is there is some Aji here. There for is black. Some, there's potential for Black right. to with, move with out this, with a move like this. Right, we showed a lot of complicated yeah. stuff. So so it's not it's not it's not reasonable, yeah. right? Um, but it's probably. The double the approach double here is yeah. pretty big. Yeah, it's, it feels... Uh, this, this is an area of the board that White has to play um, to, to make a very quick life in mm -hmm. the corner. And so playing normal Joseki moves like this probably doesn't work very well for White. And so it, um, it's really good that White is playing light moves, quick moves like this. And so this sort of fits the position. So it's very it's good sick. positional judgment for, for AlphaGo here. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure at this point, just seeing AlphaGo playing moves like that, Isidol already knows that it's, it's not a fake player. It's, right. it's really uh, pretty good because this is a position that doesn't come up. It's not going to be, the whole board position would not be in the database, N nothing even close to it. It might find some of the moves here in right. the database. But it's using them in a perfect position, more or less. It's very elegantly it's, it's, settled. Yeah, it's very, using them very well, 
it shows um, some good judgment. Uh, not only the knowledge of the moves, but the way it's using them in this particular position. And it also leaves some really nice, I don't know if we'll have time to go into it, but it leaves some very nice agi here mm -hmm. because of here and here, and it, this winds up actually yeah, all that stuff. key. Okay. Um, so uh, white, white, I think white played one honey here. One honey. Mm -hmm. And then white switched to the corner. Now this is a forcing move against black's group right. up there because black does need to make eyes. So black makes eyes with this exchange here, forcing here. Mm -hmm. And now black has one eye here and one eye here. Mm -hmm. So white left it at that point. And this is an uh, important move again because it's setting up the invasion here. Right, which is what comes. Mm -hmm. And they slide it. Um, and, and black allows a trade. So this is, this is It's a move, black. It, it's been hanging for a while. Oh yeah, well that's an important move. Um, both players were sort of expecting that to happen. Um, but this is sort of within the, um, within what black was sort of expecting to happen. Now, and then white protected the corner. And then white, that's and a really big move that white has to come back to at some point. Because otherwise so black important. can live, so that's, can live that's there. That's something like um, more than 40 points in that corner now. Um, black squeezes here, so white has about 10 points here and about 10 points there. So white has something in the vicinity of 60 points. Um, black you also has a very, it, oh, he didn't play that yet, sorry. Black has something in the vicinity of 50 points here at this time, and so he has territory here. Mm -hmm. um, so all that white territory, um, it, it's pretty close to what black has. Mm -hmm. um, and at this point, black played here, which is what I think is the losing move. Okay. Um, at this point, uh, Black probably had to play in this corner. This is, locally, it's a forcing move. It threatens to capture these three stones with another move here. Mm -hmm. But that's, a, a, that's about a um, difference of 16 points. Okay. So it's not really big enough when you have big, it's actually only about the same size as uh, an extension on the side there. And it's smaller than moves in this corner. So it, it was sort of a careless a, a mistake maybe. And looking at this move, I sort of wonder if um, Lee Sedol was, it, maybe it was fatigue because he was playing all those games in the North, North Nanjing Cup. Mm -hmm. um, because it is a, it is a um, strange move to play, be playing so early since the white connection there is not forcing. Um, and, and, and with, I mean, this whole area uh -huh. here is still to So play. just to show, so why don't we show you sure. uh, what I think Black should have done first. I think Black should have just played like this to live in the corner. And now a move like this, which does take Black's eyes away, can be countered with a move like this that connects Black to the corner. Mm -hmm. And the, the good thing about this is that when White connects here later, Black will be able to answer that move and preserve his, it's right. about 50 points in, in this area. So that's an important territory which in the game was reduced, or, or White had potential to reduce it, which was very valuable. And Black has plenty of, Black has more territory than he did in the game on this side. A lot more because he has the corner. And White has a lot less. There's a, there's a big difference in this case. And I think Black has a slight lead. Um, it's, a, it's a game that would go to the end in the end game. It, it, White would not be f so far behind that White would have to resign. Mm -hmm. I think it would be a close game. But I would be betting on Black in this end game. Well, I would have to really, you know, I would have to study the end game right. to really know. But that's my feeling. Uh, what happened in the actual game, let's just go to the actual game. Um, black actually took the one stone, after which uh, now white connects here. Now this leaves the attachment here, but it also threatens to take this corner big. So black played here. Mm -hmm. White played this, this attachment once, and black back down. And then white played this. Yeah. Now you you, and uh, that was a mistake. Like that move, was definitely yeah. a mistake. Um, White could have gotten the same result by crawling immediately right, and then and playing here back. immediately. Right. Black would have had, would, and White would have had an extra liberty here, mm. which would have made a big difference in the following Yosei. Right. But at that point, it didn't actually have a direct effect on the game, on the outcome of the game. Mm, black answered black. that. You've got the black. Oh, I have the black. Sorry. And then White played here to capture these, and it's a beautiful sequence because White took the territory. At the moment White got into danger, White had the, uh, the tempo or the initiative, the, um, the sente, to move there mm -hmm. and save his stones. 
And with this whole sequence, White has now established a lead in territory. The, the connection underneath here and the extension here have become mei, that's interchangeable points. And um, I was having trouble counting it at the time, but at this point, White's win is already pretty secure. Well, if you look at, at uh, your variation, uh, you know, this gets closed there, and yeah. black gets mm -hmm. the corner. Mm -hmm. And this, white gets everything. White gets this, yeah, and white gets corner. this. So the big difference, the like if we assume a black move here since it's black's turn sure. now, Which actually, this I think is the same the as the game. Right. Uh, the corner is just, is changed to white territory. So mm -hmm. the big difference is in this corner. There's a very slight difference. White is. Um, Black has captured the one white stone, so there's, there's a smaller difference here, but a huge difference here, uh, which would make the game very close, and I think it might be slightly in Black's favor. Mm. Uh, no, I mean, in... in, in uh, if he had played the very The other way, right. Episode. In like this case, here, it's already, it's, it's already done, for white. Right? Yeah. And I, it's basically because mm -hmm. he can't pay, Black can't pay the Komei. Right, and in the end of the game, when Isidl lost, uh, resigned, he was maybe ahead on the board. It was close on the board, um, so maybe it was a point or so ahead on the board. Mm -hmm. but, um, no way he could um, pay the Comey. Right, right. It's an amazing game. I mean, it was just phenomenal because from from this point, uh, when, when uh, AlphaGo first played here, it it felt uh, that it had this plan. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think White was doing very hold. well after that, and White sort of knew that White had to accomplish something here. Mm -hmm. And I guess one of the things I'm wondering, uh, knowing the whole game now, uh, is this simply about sort of, mm -hmm. you know, from uh, AlphaGo's point of view, time, just closing it down? At that point, it wasn't winning. It was, oh, okay, no. that's too mm -hmm. early for right, that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that's a great analysis. Thank you so much. You. Um, we will be uh, back tomorrow with a commentary on the uh, uh, next game. We'll be looking forward to seeing uh, uh, what Lee Sedol does. Yeah, I'm sort uh, of hoping his... he's coming back. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, want, a, we yeah. want a close match. Yes. We want a close match. So thank you very much, Michael. Thank you.